Welcome back to my rating climb to 2000 on chess.com. I'm currently rated 1485 and I'm going to jump into a 10 plus 5 game, analyze it, and then we will uh, look at the game afterwards. So we'll find an opponent. We got a 1529. Uh, play another Karl Khan. This is my second game today. Um, trying to uh, get a couple games in the bank. <clears throat> so going for a Karl Khan, we get an advanced. So I can pin the knight. Question is, do I pin the knight or not? So typically the advanced, you don't have the option to pin the knight. I will. Now the big question is, do if he plays h3, do I take the knight? Some people may drop back. I found that it's a little bit, it gets a little bit awkward for this bishop, uh, especially now with this bishop here, because if he plays h3, I can't really drop back here without doubling my pawns. So it becomes a little bit of a chore to get the bishop out. So if he plays h3, I'll probably just take. Let's play. So I do like bringing the knight here sometimes to go here or here, here. But this bishop right here, not sure I like it. I also have this queen move as a potential to look at this pawn. <clears throat> can just advance the pawn. I can also go c5 right here. Only thing I don't like about c5 is then it makes this knight development kind of awkward. Actually, let's we can always fi and keto right here. Bring the knight out. I think I'm going to fee and keto. Get rid of this pressure. Put my bishop right here. Play c5 after I put my queen right here. I think that might be the main theory is to fee and keto in the advance. All right, hang on. I'm going to try to fix this chicken camera while my opponent's thinking. It froze last video. Been having some issues with it. Happy to even have it work anytime. Okay. All right, so we get Bishop up here, <clears throat> which I'm not too upset about. Um, makes Fee and Kettoing a little awkward. I can just bring my queen out here. Because if I try to fianchetto, the bishop can come here. And then what do I do? I guess I take it. And the pawn is right here. <laughs> it's just a little bit awkward. Uh, so I no longer maybe like the idea of fianchettoing. Let's play c5. Try to break up the center. I can also swing my knight over here. Even put my bishop right here if he's not willing to take on c5. Yeah, so let's put the knight over here. I can threaten to take, take, take. <clears throat> so Rubco from Puerto Rico. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Today is Sunday, but this game might not be posted until Monday or Tuesday. Okay, so protecting that way. That's very uh, creative. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that move in this position. It also unpins the queen, so that's kind of nice. 
So the question is, should I just trade this bishop off before it becomes a major headache? I can also go a6 to threaten b5. I like that. I like a6 anyway because then it prevents the bishop from coming down, putting more pressure on this knight. This is kind of strange because neither one of us have castled and we're 11 moves in. And yeah, so what, what's, what happens with b5? <clears throat> I can push here. I kind of like that. <clears throat> Close down this diagonal. Where are you going with your... Oh. I guess you would have trapped your bishop, huh? Let's just... Uh, let's just try to trade this dark square bishop. Yeah, I was thinking earlier, opponent could have taken on h7, but then they would have gotten their bishop trapped, I think. Because after you go g6, they either have to take the pawn, which then the queen comes in. Is that any better for me? I don't think that's good, actually. So they probably could have taken on h7. Might have been hasty with this c4 move. Okay, now I can bring my knight out to this square, <clears throat> which I kind of like. Our opponent trying to break up the pawns on this side, so I can take. I don't like the look of that. What am I going for here? Do I castle? I like castling, but then what happens here? Uh, un unveils an attack on this bishop, also threatens to checkmate. I like putting my knight here. This controls a lot of nice squares. Blocks this queen. So I envision maybe castling so now, gosh dang it, I wish I would have just dropped my bishop back and then threatened or challenged this queen, because now trading my bishop off doesn't feel as good, and if I go back, I get forked. I made a mistake. I definitely made a mistake. <clears throat> now if I castle, we get this move. I could play h6 just to prevent the knight coming in here for now. Castling feels a little safer. I could also castle queenside, or not castle at all. So the question is, where where are we going with this game? Okay, so opponent tries to close down and play on the queen side. I actually think this is a bad move. But should I go a5 immediately? So a5...
So we got a5 takes. If I take with the queen, the rook comes over to defend. I can take, I can almost take here. If this knight wasn't here, I could take there. Maybe I castle now. Let's castle. Then I can bring my rook over to the party on the queen side and bring my knight over to protect h7. Even bring it up to g6 if I need it. <clears throat> or I can swing this knight to g6. So now I think a5. Okay, so I don't, I'm not pinning that pawn anymore though. So I don't have that trick, but okay, so takes, 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 rook comes over to defend. Or if I go with takes, 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 what happens here? I just take. So you can't do that. I bring my other rook over. Rook comes over. Queen comes over. I think the queen side is, is where we need to play. I like I like taking with the rook because I can bring my other rook over more easily. <clears throat> I also have this knight to hop in right here, put pressure on that pawn maybe. So I don't um I don't think that that move was a good move just because it allowed me to break up this pawn chain. A little bit easier. I could also think about right here as well. <clears throat> Play b4. So he's not threatening the pawn yet. I can add another attacker, but then he's coming right here, right? That's when this knight maneuver becomes a thing, though. So the question is, do am I protecting the king side enough? Logical. Knight's still coming in right here. Gonna put pressure on this. <clears throat> so he probably has to go here. So can I go here now, and then push here? No. What do I do? Pushing here doesn't work because takes, well, let's calculate. Takes, rook over, and what do I have? Nothing. If I move my queen over, which I can do, I have time for it. I can, well, that's okay. So moving my queen over does abandon this knight. Can he attack the knight? No. So moving my queen over and then on the next move, pushing takes rook over. He's got to go rook back. Maybe he can't go rook back. 
Let's try this. He can push. This is kind of a risky move, I think. Putting my queen here. I'm trying to eye this pawn. That's what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. What happens if I take here? He takes. I take here. Running the bishop. No. Let's do this. Risky move. I know. Uh, but there's no good way to attack my knight. And then also this pawn is defending the knight. So kind of a weird situation here. <clears throat> now if I push here, I have to be aware that I'm undefending this knight. So if he if he brings his bishop back, something I have to think about. Well, I'm not undefending it actually because I have two rooks protecting it, but yeah. So maybe this is less risky than I'm thinking. So my idea is here. So if he goes here, I'm not sure what that does. Let's execute. Oh, it's he's protecting this pawn. He sees it. But if I take my rook and put it here, oh, he can pu push the pawn up at that point and protect it. Maybe this was a bad plan from the get-go. This might have been a bad plan. Because if I go here, he can go here. Then I take here. He has to take here. I take there. This is chaotic. Yeah. This is weird. Such a chaotic game. And neither of us have a ton of time to think about this. So I do get these two passed pawns in the center of the board. That's what I'm getting. He's got these outside passers. I get these two passed pawns. And then I'm also threatening to take this one and make a huge, like, big pawn chain in the center. He's got a take. I, I don't think there's any not taking, because I take with check. I take this. There's no way. Yeah. He's probably just thinking about the follow-up. <clears throat> How do I protect this? He can go there. He can't go there. He can't even move this pawn. It's pinned. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this. I know I got these outside passes, which can be very dangerous. Okay, so he's looking to, I take here, he takes there. That doesn't work, because then I take his queen with check. Okay, so do I have a better move? I could go here. What does that do? Nothing, because he can take it. I'm not sure what he has in mind with this, this uh, queen move. So I'm gonna take here, because I don't, I don't see the threat. But maybe I'm naive. Oh, the chicken cam is up. Good, good. Hopefully you're enjoying that. Well, we're thinking we're basically even on time here, which is helpful. So now I can just drop my queen back, make it more of a defender from behind, maybe bring my rook over. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think if you're if I was an engine, I would win this game for sure. 100%. <clears throat> That's kind of weird. So I can go here. No, I can't. What am I saying? If I go here, okay, so let's just take this position in. This threatens this rook. Does it do anything else? I could drop my queen back out of danger. What does this move do? Where is that rook move if I threaten it? If it moves, I'm just bringing my queen back. Get my queen out of danger here. <clears throat> I have to look, I have to watch out for tricks where he moves here, he takes here, I can't take back. 
Maybe maybe this isn't the best square for my queen. But I envision myself. He did the same thing, just differently. He was going to try to take the rook here. <clears throat> now I can push here. Moving the bishop kind of allowed me to push, so maybe not such a good move. I, I can get these pawns rolling down the board. This knight is kind of um, nice, you know. He's, maybe he's got to find a way to attack the knight. This is very difficult to figure out if you're white. I don't think white's plans are easy right here. You got to find a way to unblockade these pawns, to push the pawns. You have to find a way to ruin my knight. You have to find a way to stop my pawns. All of that. And it's not easy. And he's going to try. So if I go here, he can take, I take, he takes. That's bad. That's not good. So I'm going to push. I know he's threatening my knight, but hey, look at this. Just made a new spot for you. You get in there, buddy. You can do it. Incidentally, I'm also attacking this pawn, so if this pawn pushes forward, I can take here. So maybe that queen move was good. Feeling pretty good about this, guys. Can we get the nine points and be on the precipice of 1500 again? I say we, but <clears throat> maybe I just. <clears throat> so now I can go here. He's threatening to take here, takes, that doesn't work. Here is good, I think. Okay, so what's his plan? Actually, I just fork his rooks now. And like I said, I can take here. So if he pushes, I take. Well, I take here, and then I take here. This would be fine if this pawn wasn't defended by a pawn. <clears throat> My position is like perfect. I have just these amazing pawns, threat on his rooks, he's running out of time. It's been a, a well played game by my opponent, I don't think there's anything, I think the, the big, maybe not the big mistake, but maybe playing b4 earlier was not good. Um, this is kind of weird. Because I can just take your bishop and be up a bishop. That's fine. I'll have to take an, a rook. Let's go back. Or just keep pushing. What? So that's something to always learn. I You want the exchange, right? Um, so for this is for any lower rated players, you want the exchange, but an opponent just lets me, so if I go back, actually, he's like, oh, I could take, that's true, but then you lose a queen and I can also just push. So, um, but one thing to learn is that, yes, you want the exchange and you could take that, but a, a free piece is better than a, an exchange. You get a whole free piece.
I think this is better actually. His pawns aren't fast enough. And I want to be able to push this pawn without having to think about it. Opponent just doesn't have enough time to figure this out. Yeah. <clears throat> Good game to my opponent. I Again, I don't think that they played poorly. Let's see. 75.5 versus 67.4. In these closed positions, it's difficult to figure out what to do. Um, and we, the opponent kind of locked it up on the queen side. Let's see here. I want to get past the opening. So queen... C7 was a mistake? It's a miss. So I, mi I missed, okay, hang on a second, bishop, bishop takes f3, if queen takes f3, queen v6, forking the two pawns, yeah, I don't know. A6 was a mistake, b5, so... Right after I played this move, I thought, crap, like, I don't know why. I just thought this was blundering something. And what is it? Oh, I can't retake. I knew it like in my gut. I've played this move and I don't know if you maybe you could see it on my face, but I was like, wait, <laughs> and I didn't I didn't see what it was, but I just understood that I blundered something. But uh you know, what do you do? Yeah, so bringing my knight out right here. Like I said, I think I should have gone here. So let's see what the engine says. Oh, castle. Just castle. Don't even worry about this uh, crazy threat here. What do I do here? Bishop f5. Oh, yeah. What am I concerned about? Jeez, just castle. Lunatic. Get your pieces out of danger. So queen takes was best there. I don't know. I like getting my rook over. So the computer doesn't like any of this. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? What are you doing, champ? Thinks I'm drunk or something. So knight a4 was best. Just forking the pieces right away. But what happens if it takes here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I threatened the queen, right? Is that the... No, that's not the issue. Take here, queen comes down. Oops, that would have been good too. But then I fork here. That's not even the best move. I would I mean I would have never done this. If your opponent does that, you got What I just get his queen to d6 so it's just chilling there. <laughs> I don't know why. It didn't trap the queen. I mean maybe there was a trap eventually down the line like a few moves down, computer sees like 30 moves in advance. But Okay, so I so yeah, so pushing here I said I thought well, it was a blunder, but hey. So, yeah, I mean, all of this is just good. Oh, I don't even take the queen there, I guess. Um, all right, well, uh, played a good game. We'll see you in the next one.